can tell you I put my hope in four factors. The first one is women. I think the women's emancipation and full empowerment is one of the best news that we have in the world. And I think it's coming and it has to come and it should be also a matter for men to join this uh, trend and positive movement. The second thing is you, young people. And I believe uh, that we should work not only for young people, but we should also work uh, with young people, with young people and listen to the dreams and aspirations of young people I went to school, go to schools in Stockholm sometime and see my grandchildren's uh, classes and I'm encouraged every day by what they believe in peace and, and the environment and what is right and wrong. So this second good news is youth and, and you should know that you should run with the baton in a very strong and, and deliberate way. The third hope is for me uh, knowledge and education and the fact that you all are studying and getting your degrees, which gives you a great chance to move on and influence. The, the, if we can broaden that to make sure that using the uh, social, the new technology and social media in such a way that it is, becomes a positive force rather than a negative force as a uh, promoter of knowledge, then I think we're making great progress. And the fourth reason for hope, I was about to say the last hope, but <laughs> I don't think I should say last hope, is of course international cooperation. And uh, the fact that uh, we have to restore a strong international system, belief in the norms that were set up by, by the United Nations and member states, and not depart from the uh, solidarity and from the uh, importance of the word togetherness that was built up uh, after the ashes and horrors of the Second World War.